Amazon.com, the site that we have a love-hate relationship with. If it's something that you want to buy, chances are pretty good that it's on their website. And if it turns out that item is not quite what you wanted, that item that you've returned, along with millions of other people who have returned things to Amazon, well, all of these items end up in an Amazon liquidation clearance garage sale bin type place. If you've never been inside of one, don't worry, that's where I'm taking you today. When you enter the store, be sure to grab a shopping cart, or in this case, a bucket, and then just start sifting through the bins of glorious junk. Today's in-store shopping video was recorded on my Bob Love body camera. If you haven't seen that review, go back and check it out. Hopefully it feels like you're right there with me in the action. Anyway, let's check out some of the things that I spot and throw back, and, and also some of the things that I decide I can't pass these up, they're too good, I have to buy them. After all, today everything is only a dollar. I start the week out at five dollars, and then each day the price goes down until at the end everything's only one dollar, or sometimes fifty cents. A lot of this I would not want to pay five dollars for, but a dollar or fifty cents, you can find some cool things in here. And when you go to the hardware store, these drains cost probably fifteen, twenty dollars. Look at these, I think these are, what, Mercedes keys? Possibly Chrysler? If you have one of these cars, hey, you know for a dollar you've just found yourself a bargain. Here's a brand new BMW Roundel, still sealed in its package. I think I'll buy that. What is this? After looking it up, I discovered that it's actually tennis racket string. So I'm definitely going to buy that. These things are little lights that uh, magnetically clip onto your car door. Not my thing, but, but maybe one of you watching would like it. A lot of these things, I'm sure they're valuable. I just don't know what they're for, so I pass on them. Here's a whole set of what look like napkin ring holders, napkin holder rings. I don't need them, but for a dollar I'll take them. Oh, this is a good find. Yeah, these things in the hardware store, yeah, these are like 20 bucks. All right, in the interest of time, I'm going to speed up the footage just a little bit, but I kind of want you to see just the variety of stuff that's here. As I inspect certain items, you might identify them, and there might be things that you want. But after so much of this, digging through junk and realizing that every week they have a new batch of junk, you almost start to think, my goodness, what is going to happen to this world? Are we going to end up like the movie WALL-E? At some point soon, we're just going to be living on piles and piles of junk from Amazon warehouses? Hmm, I hope not. Because I believe if the stuff doesn't sell here at the end of the week, it goes in the landfill. And once your shopping cart is full, or your bucket, head on over to the register and have the cashier ring you up. And that's it. That's how this works. What are your thoughts on this whole situation? I'd like to know. Leave a comment. But anyway, thank you for watching. Take care and have a great day.